Hey everybody, we're back with another game here, saved in the Java Archive. This is Finding Nemo from Disney. Let's take a little bit a look at this game. It's pretty basic, so let's get going. This is Nemo is missing and it's up to you. Okay, totally didn't see that, but we're going to move along. <laughs> Have played this before. This is a, I guess, it, almost like a Gradius shmup without any shooting. <laughs> Your goal is to find a bunch of missing pieces to put something together uh, and and rescue, I guess, your friends and get back home. I don't remember the story of Finding Nemo. It's been so long ago. But this is a side-scroller, auto-scroller. You can move up, down, left, and right. Moving right uh, speeds up, and moving left slows down. Now, your goal is to get to the end of each of the four stages uh, within the time limit and secure the star at the end. During these missions, you are going to avoid various uh, fishy creatures here. You do have an ability is that tail flip, which is pretty devastating. One of the most devastating moves in all of gaming because it can take down pretty much anything. Uh, but you only have a limited number of them, so you can speed up right here. But you can collect more as you go through the level. So here's a heart. If we collect it, we'll pick it up. And then if we touch this star, boom. Congratulations, you found the face mask and address in Sydney. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for the barracudas and their sharp teeth. And then, I, okay, that's moving quick. I didn't hit any buttons. So with each stage, you're going to get new obstacles and new enemies that are going to kind of hit you pretty hard. Now, you would figure that motion on this would be pretty easy. Uh, and it should be if this were a regular console. We are talking about a touch tone phone here so you actually have to tap the button to move up down left and right multiple times so it's very difficult to get out of the way if you're moving with any sort of speed a very simple game uh, this was released around the time of the movie so I believe what is this 2003 maybe Finding Nemo came out by Disney Mobile now Disney went hard on the on the mobile front early on in the Java games to kind of see if they could be one of those forces. I believe they even had their own cell phone network in the United States, if I recall. Uh, this might have been exclusive to Disney Mobile. I'm not sure where they went through that, but this was one of the many games they put together. Now, Disney Mobile didn't last. They did make a bunch of purchases. Uh, they purchased Tapulous, uh, I think in 2011. Uh, they also launched Where's My Water, which was huge. By this time, of course, Disney Mobile had shifted into the modern smartphone era and had left the Java stuff behind. Okay, so here we go. We beat level 2 with 30 seconds to spare. We can get around here. And we'll avoid this puffer. And nothing's happening. Can we go forward? Nope, nothing's going back. Nope, nothing. No, okay, so there's only one button, you know, just the, the flip button. Maybe we missed something? I have a feeling this game bugged out. Nope, the pause button doesn't work, nothing works. Uh, you're lost in the deep blue sea with no one around, please try again. High score 1851. What a year that was. Uh, okay, so let's let's try this again. I Maybe that's a glitch? Or I missed something. What is the help? Control monitor for levels. Yeah, we're finding Nemo. That's right. Press 2 and 8 to go up. 4 and 6 to move. 5, fin flip. Collect power-ups to gain extra flips. And lives, the colors of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's all the buttons. Okay, this is going to hit us hard. Okay, we get through there. All right, so let's, tr let's give this a try and see what happens. Now, Disney Mobile, talking about them, they shuttered in... 2007, the original version, that's at the kind of release of the smartphone era, they kind of dropped out of this. I believe they that's when they had their own cell phone network and stuff before rebranding and moving on. So I don't know how many Disney mobile games they released uh, in terms of content, but I'm going to assume all the ones probably up to 2007 got releases from Disney films and mobile of some kind if they got oh that's bad and now you'll never find where Nemo is oh that's sad come on Marlin score 310 that's really bad 
Okay, so let's try this again. We'll go back to it and see what we can do. So we'll flip them. I'm not sure if this is at all procedurally generated. I'm going to say no. But I could be wrong. In terms of, of Java games, even in 2003, we've seen some other titles here. This one is incredibly basic. And I understand that it's probably for a child. But this was not an era where phones were cheap and phones didn't have the abilities. I mean, 2003 was kind of my youth era and cell phones were still on, I believe, like minute plans for a lot of people and internet access on a phone outside of email maybe was pretty rare. So I don't see a child having a phone to play a game like this who is this intended for like today i understand you know everyone has an ipad you know laying around and an android tablet or phone is you know you can get them for 25 dollars and most a lot of times even free so let's finish up this first level so i'm not entirely sure who this would have been made for too many encounters well whoop, couldn't read that either Okay, so let's try to do level two and see if we can beat it this time. I'm not sure what the intended audience would be for a game like this. I assume it's Disney, so I would assume it is for children, but I couldn't tell you how many kids in the early 2000s had a you know Motorola V3 ro rocking in elementary school. It's not like today at all. I'm so Oh, oh, come on, hit detection. So again, you can speed up and slow down. The obstacles will get you. And it can just get a little kind of just full of enemies and then these segments of kind of empty space. So maybe it is generated randomly. And for a Disney game, this is strange. This does, I mean, it is 2003, but this does feel like my first game project you know if you're taking a entry level level game development course in in college or in like in in high school or watching a youtube video of something basic this is like game maker 101 sort of stuff so it is strange oh uh, we're screwed uh, oh see we passed that okay so that time it worked uh make it through swarms of sting and jellyfish and other obstacles to meet up with Cr okay we're meeting up with crush uh, oh, I'm, I don't have any flips. I was almost going to be stuck there. Let's get that flip. Okay, so the enemies are going to be the same, but it looks like we're going to be adding in some jellies. Now, I don't know if the time limit really affects getting to the end of the state. I assume this is a hazard. Okay, that's bad hit detection. Nothing hit us. Absolutely nothing hit us there. Okay, so here's the jellies coming. Now, I'm not sure if you'd have enough time if you were super, super slow. But going fast is absolutely a death sentence in this game. And there's really no advantage to it because of the input registration on this phone. We're playing it on a... I think it's going through a Nokia device. Yeah, that's... Uh, 3467 that's gonna be a big no from me fam in terms of getting there Disney Mo yeah so it looks like it was through them uh, so okay we'll we'll go again I want to see there's only four stages so we made it to the third I assume the last one will just of course is gonna rescue Nemo we know at the end but getting there for such a basic game, this is one of the harder titles that we have to play. Now there's not a lot of room to maneuver. And you can already see that the screen is sort of cropped on this device. The menu's down there at the bottom, so it's already shrunk down. You're getting it up really blown up here. Okay, so we got through there. So I think this first level, we can pretty much a breeze through this one without too much of a problem. Uh, can we make it? See, so sometimes I feel like I can make it and sometimes I can't. Now I'm screwed. 
Gonna have to take take one for the team right there. There's a star should be coming up here. Down, up. And just the multiple taps are gonna be a problem. Would have ruined a phone back in the day. Okay, so I think we're okay here. So let's grab this heart. And okay, work that time. Off to Sydney. Too many encounters with them and you'll be fish food. Okay, so stage two we're pretty comfortable with. It does feel like the layout of the enemies and what the hell just hit me? Yeah, the hit detection is really bad on this one, surprisingly. Poor, I don't know who developed this game. Uh, oof. Okay, we got two hits. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Come on, Barracuda. Barracuda. They sort of just kind of wiggle back and forth. Okay, so we got puffers we're avoiding. We got those scary angelfish or whatever they are down there. Come on up. So I look like the first two stages, the layout on them is... Looks like it's the same... And it's just, ooh, 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 we were attempting fate, grabbing that. And, oh, I thought that was the end. No. No, no, no. There we go. Okay, so sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. We got that. We're going to have to wait. This is what happened last time. Okay, so now it doesn't work to get the star. How do we get the star? To touch it on the nose? The puffer fish is now stuck because that's great. Oh. What happened? I, did we force the screen to scroll? Oh, none of this, none of this makes any sense. So we can't, yeah, we're not getting past that. So we are forced to take some hits. So it does look like it may be randomly generated how the characters come through slow down okay we're all right now we got clear space yeah it's it looks like it's a total crap shoot okay we're good oh jellies are in go fast nope come on come on come on come on Fast, fast. Can we blast through there? Oh, yeah, we're blasting. Is it too high? Ha! Ah, I should have hit. See, I can't tell when we're, we don't have the space or when we do have the space. None of it makes sense. Okay. So let's take a look here. Let's look at the about. So this is Pixar 2003 for the Nokia 7650. Contact support, please contact us at wireless.support at disneyonline.com. How many want to bet that that's not active? How about if you if you got this far, email support. <laughs> How to beat <laughs> uh, Pixar's uh, Finding Nemo from 2003 on a Java mobile device. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so that's it. If you like this one, comment, like it, subscribe. You can download it when the VR archive goes live. And until next time, we'll catch you in the next video.